welcome back to Mirror and Thread. I have kind of actually a fun game for us to play today. So I had a ton of fun ordering this and shooting this video and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So I am doing a designer versus target shoe roundup. And honestly, they're pretty hard to tell apart. So I went to the extent of taping out the labels on all of these shoes and I want you guys to see if you can figure out which one is the designer shoe and which one is the Target version. So, so much fun, and definitely let me know in the comments what you're thinking as we go, and at the end, I will reveal if you are right. I am going to link both the designer shoes and the Target shoes in the video description, so you can find all that easily, and I will link everything else that I'm wearing there as well. Let's get started. Alrighty, here is our first set, option A, option B. Now, don't look super closely <laughs> at the tape because I was really having a hard time covering up these labels, but I wanted to give you the full experience of trying to figure this out without seeing the label. So anyways, we'll start with, I think I wore these first. So we will start with these. So this is simple braided sandal, obviously very similar styles. All the styles that I'm sharing are very similar the target and the designer so this is brown on the bottom this one has like some white detailing here along the top and this does come in a bunch of other colors they actually both do and then here is the option b this is a little bit more of a nude color this one's a little bit more of a camel or a, yeah camel brown i would say and this is same color bottom, so a little bit different on that as well. This one also has just the slightest elevated heel to it, a little bit different, it's a little bit more uh, dressed up, I would say, but very similar vibe. I would say you would definitely wear these the same way. I style them really simply with just some jeans and a white tank top, and yes, by the way, my baby bump is really popping <laughs> right now, so it is, um, I'm really starting to grow, it's wild, but anyways, you'd wear these the same way. Comfort level actually, just as a little FYI, and this might give you a little hint, I don't know, but I would say these are a little bit more comfortable, and they're both obviously just a simple slide sandal, so both very comfortable, but this one is a little bit tighter on this braided portion, so if you have a wider foot, I would say this one is going to be a little bit tighter on you. I was finding this a little tight and this one just a bit more loose so all right option a is this the designer or option b is this the designer let me know what you think in the comments and then later you can check yourself at the end of the video all righty for our second set we went with a fun lace-up sandal now these are a little bit dressier these are also pretty unique i feel like um, this is not your typical run-of-the-mill sandal that you're just going to grab necessarily every day, but I think they're really fun, and I really like them styled with just a simple dress. I did them with just a black dress, and I love the way that that looks. I think it gives it a whole different vibe. So these are actually quite a bit. This is probably the most different of the sets that I'm going to share, but um, still very similar vibe. So this pair, option A. This pair is a flat, so totally flat. I mean, I guess it does have like the tiniest little elevation here, but more flat. And then the tie on this is quite a bit different as well. So this is a thong sandal here. And then this one just kind of wraps around the top of the foot and then it's going to tie all the way around the ankle. Now these are fairly long ties here. So I think I wrapped it around like two or three times, wrapped it around my ankle and then still had enough room to tie it in a bow. So pretty long on the straps. Here is option B. These are a little bit different um, as far as the ties and everything are too. Now this one has more of a heel. So again, bit of a dressier feel. And then this one has like the kind of croc embossed look at the bottom here. And then the top of these are kind of fun. They're a little bit different. So instead of just having like the one simple tie, this one's got like a whole lot of detailing on the foot. And then this tie is quite a bit shorter. So this just wrapped around once and then you could tie either in a knot or a bow. Um, but this has like some different detailing as far as how many laces this has <laughs> on the top. But really fun. I actually love both of these styles. I am definitely keeping one of these. I'll tell you which ones later <laughs> that I'm going to keep from this set. But I'm definitely keeping one of these. I think they're super fun and very, very unique. 
and are going to be easy to dress up with dresses. So option A, is this the designer? Or is option B the designer in this one? Let me know in comments and you can check your answer later. I forgot to mention comfort level on that last set. I would say they're basically exactly the same. The flat ones might be slightly more comfortable just because they don't have a heel on them if you were going to wear them for long periods, but otherwise basically same on comfort level. All right, so this is our third set. This one I actually think is the most convincing lookalike, I would say. These are almost indistinguishable from each other. The color is very, very similar. The style is obviously so similar. So these are, they did a really good job of <laughs> making these look high end on the Target version. So this is option A for this one. This one does have a little bit more of the kind of brown rubber showing on this. And then this, the, both of them have this like, um, oh, I don't know what you call that. <laughs> kind of stripey detail on the toe. And then they're both this beautiful, I think they call this bone, um, is the appropriate term, bone color. And this is a fantastic color for spring and summer. I love doing these just with simple dresses, doing with jeans. Again, this is kind of like the first one. It's just an easy slide. You can wear these with basically anything. I will tell you this pair, this one is a little bit narrow again through the foot. So this doesn't have like any stretch to it. So if you do have a wider foot, this one is a little bit more narrow through there. This also has some fun like threaded detailing through here or stitching on both sides. And this one is a little bit more square toe and then it's got square on the heel as well. <clears throat> so option B for this one, again, they look very similar. This one has a bit of a heel on it. And this one, I don't know, for some reason, this looks a little bit more high end, a little bit dressier to me because of the heel. Um, but this one, same thing. These are spaced out a little bit more on this strap feature here. And then it does not have the stitching or thread detailing on the sides. Otherwise, very, very similar. These both come in lots of color options. They come in like a nude color, a camel brown, and I believe a black on both. So I think both of these are actually a great summer staple sandal. And um, like I said, kind of hard to tell apart. So let's see if you can do it. Option A, is this designer? Or is the option B designer? Let me know. All right, the final set. Again, very similar vibe, but there are some differences with this one. So I'll go over this one first. We're gonna call this option A. So these, obviously the main difference is they're both white. These have the silver studs on them and then they've got the studding all around the toe here and around the foot and that is silver as well. So this is pretty cushy bottom, very simple. This has some elastic detailing here. So these do have a little bit of stretch to them. I will tell you these are incredibly comfortable. Probably this might be the most comfortable pair of the bunch. So um, this is like an everyday sandal to me. I would throw this on with shorts, with romper, with jeans, whatever. This is going to be a great little everyday staple. These do come in other color options as well. And then here is the second option. So very similar vibe. These are a little bit different in that they still have the white on the background, but the studs on these are white as well. And then the studs along the bottom are, they're still silver, but they're not quite as intensely silver as these. So you can kind of see the difference there. It's a little bit, this one is just a little bit more muted overall. And then these are a little bit brighter. So very similar, same kind of texture on the bottom and similar heels you can kind of see on the bottom there. And these are also very, very comfortable. These do have that little touch of elastic here. So these are nice and stretchy and comfy as well. I would say comfort level on these is exactly the same. Again, if you just had these on your foot and you were walking around, they would be completely indistinguishable from each other, I feel like, as far as quality goes and comfort level goes. So really pretty hard to tell on these too. I have, def I have a definite favorite between the two of these and I will share that in just a minute, but I'll go ahead and give you a chance to vote. Option A, is this designer or is option B designer? Let me know. All right, time for the reveal. Since I'm already holding these, we're gonna do this backwards actually. So 
This one is the designer. These are Steve Madden. This is a very popular Steve Madden sandal. You've probably seen this. I've seen this one a lot in the brown, but I like the white for something different. Really great sandal on these. But I will tell you, so this is the Target version. I actually prefer the Target version in these. I personally like the muted colors a little bit more. I'm more of a gold kind of gal. All my jewelry uh, bags and things like that, I usually have gold detailing on them. And so I find actually wearing silver sandals to be a little bit tricky. I don't know, they're like a little harder to style for me. So I really like that these had just the white studs on them. So like I said, they're pretty much indistinguishable as far as comfort and quality level goes. But if I was gonna grab just one, I would choose the Target one in this one. <laughs> now I have to try and remember which one I called option A and which one I called option B. I don't know. <laughs> You'll be able to tell, I guess. But for this set, these are the ones that are very similar. This one is the designer. So these are Dolce Vita. These, I think all the designer ones that I grabbed were right around 100, like 80 to 100. The Target ones were mostly 20 to 35, 40 maybe is the highest. So pretty big price difference there, basically double plus on pricing. And this one, I would say same thing, go with the Target ones on these. These are so similar, you really wouldn't be able to tell much of a difference. I do feel like the Target ones are maybe a little bit dressier just because of the heel. Um, I really like the like square toe on these, super cute style. But this I found a little bit tight and a little bit less comfortable on the foot actually than the Target version. So. And weight wise, these are a little bit heavier. So that usually indicates, you know, higher quality, but otherwise I think these are pretty much indistinguishable from each other. So let me know if you guys are getting these right. I think it's kind of fascinating. I don't know if I would have been able to tell if I didn't know ahead of time. For the black tie up sandals, I actually feel like this one was the one that was the easiest to, feel, to see which one was the designer or to figure out which one was the designer. So these are the designer ones for these. This is the Target version. These are Sam Edelman, and I just feel like the quality on these, I can definitely tell a difference with these. So first of all, you've got the croc on here, which just is a nice added touch. You've got the heel, and then I just really like the way that they did the lacing on the toe here. It's just a little bit unique, it's a little bit different, and to me, Target just went a little too far with the tie here. I mean, I don't necessarily wanna be wrapping something around my ankle 40 times before I tie it. It's just like a little bit tedious to put on. So I feel like Sam Edelman just, just pulled this off a little bit more effectively um, in my opinion. So I will be keeping the designer version of these and um, these are super comfortable. I think they're a really fun summer sandal. The last one for the big reveal, these are the designer. These are the Target. So these are Steve Madden. Now I feel like this is another one that might have been a little bit easy to tell if you're like a diehard Steve Madden fan and you have a bunch of Steve Madden shoes just because I feel like the bottom of this is so signature Steve Madden. They always have this like kind of camely brown color on the bottom of their sandals and then they do these long like strip labels that are sewn in. So I feel like this might have been a little bit easier to tell just based on some of the details if you're familiar with Steve Madden. But as far as the sandal itself goes, again, they're very similar. And like I said at the beginning, I actually found the Target version of this a little bit more comfortable. Now, granted, I am pregnant right now and my feet might not be what they used to be. I'm, I don't know if I'm already swelling, I don't know. But this felt a little bit tight to me and there's not a lot of give here. And in the Target one, I feel like it's a little bit stretchier and it had a little bit more room there, which I found a bit more comfortable. But otherwise, very similar in quality. Again, these both come in lots of colors as well. Alrighty, that's a wrap on our designer versus Target shoe haul. So I was, I thought this was so much fun and I'm very curious if you guys were getting these right as you went along, if you were able to guess them, because like I said, obviously I did the ordering so I couldn't really play this experiment with myself, but I'm very curious what you thought. So let me know in the comments. All of the links are there for both the Target and the designer shoes and everything else that I was wearing in the video description, and I will catch you next time.